All right, our election team is digging for the story behind the results as they come in tonight. Let's check in once more with editorial director Chuck Stokes and Detroit 2020 insider Stephen Henderson live in our newsroom. Hey, guys. Hey there. We appreciate you joining us. Uh, Stephen, our Detroit 2020 insider is joining us now. Stephen, I, I'm interested. We've been talking about the top of the ticket a little bit, but I was struck by the report that Simon did. He's there with Debbie Dingell. Then he talked to Brenda Lawrence. Uh, we know that Candace Miller is going back. Debbie Stabenow is going back. I cannot remember a time when the Michigan delegation had that many women uh, that's in it, Congress. Yeah. And all of them have hit a popular theme, that we are tired of the fighting, and suggested that you know, maybe we can do what the guys can't seem to do. We can go there and work with opposites in a political party. I mean, party. that's an interesting observation. I hadn't really thought of that. But you do have two uh, women going for the first time, Debbie Dingell and Brenda Lawrence uh, going to Congress. Uh, the voters consistently talk about the, 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 the need for uh, people in Washington yeah, to work together, stop fighting, uh, get along a little better. And maybe they think that uh, female candidates are, are going to be better at that. Uh, certainly, Debbie Dingell has a record of working across the aisle. You know, everybody in Washington no knows where you it. go visit them in the Capitol, and she is uh, like a member already. Uh, so she has a tremendous opportunity in that regard. Yeah, and, and Debbie Stabenow has proven right. that she can do that in the United States Senate. Yeah. Uh, John, De uh, John Conyers. He becomes the dean of yeah, the United States right. Congress, 435 members. He's number one in seniority. Yeah. Uh, he doesn't get any more money for the position, doesn't no. get a bigger office. No. But there's prestige that comes with that on Capitol Hill. But how does he translate that into power for Michiganders? Well, that's going to be very difficult. Uh, I know this was personally very important mm -hmm. uh, to Congressman Conyers that, that he get this record first African-American to even be close, you know, to, to something like this. Uh, um, uh, I, it's going to be tough for any Democrat to have a lot of power or influence in this Congress. This is going to be a very Republican uh, body. He's a Democrat. Uh, he, he will be a ranking member on judiciary the way he always was. Uh, it's going to be very tough to get things done in the next two years for anybody who is trying to bring stuff home or move the national agenda forward on the Democratic side. All right, let's go out on a limb a little bit. Uh, these votes hold up. Uh, Governor Snyder gets his second term. He continues with the quote unquote relentless positive action. He continues to embrace urban areas. Yeah. Detroit has a major turnaround. Um, even though he's not being talked about on the national level. And he won't talk about it, right? He won't talk about it, but won't there be others to say, Maybe that's the person we need to be looking at for a possible presidential candidate or a vice presidential candidate. And he's uh, he kind of likes coming out of nowhere, which is what he did four years ago. Yeah, I think that's right. I think uh, with this kind of win uh, in a state where he would made some very unpopular decisions mm -hmm. and still voters have returned him to office with this kind of margin, I, I think you'd be crazy if you were the national Republicans not to be looking at Rick Snyder as a possible national candidate. I think he's a stretch for a presidential candidacy, but I think as a vice president, uh, certainly somebody who will be looked at for some cabinet positions uh, one way or another. This is a, this elevates his star uh, quite a bit, this win. Uh, when we unpack this and see how he did it, um, it's going to be pretty remarkable, I think. All right, very good. Stephen Henderson, our Detroit 2020 insider. And back to you, Stephen and Carolyn. And